That's the power of the cameras of life, people. Oh my gosh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> but then come back to Megan Rap- Rapino. Rapino? Yeah. I know she's very disliked because I've seen a lot of a lot of comments on social media about her. And there was a video, I think sometime last year, where a kid asked her for an autograph and she didn't even look at the kid once in the face and basically was just and I think people saw that and were like, Oh, she's really arrogant and she she reminds people of a Karen. <laughs> well, because she's got that can I speak to you? The manager haircut. All the, <laughs> no, but I think that video circling around on social media definitely did not help her image because it just looked like because people expect a lot from sports stars. They expect you to take to get to take pictures with fans, to um, sign autographs, give the fans a bit of time because they're the ones that are paying. And see, I was watching. gonna say, I was gonna say, do you think people don't like her because they see her as arrogant? But what you just said, that's Ronaldo is known for being arrogant, but he takes time to give back to fans. He does. We I mean, always see Ronaldo. You always see pictures of Ronaldo signing autographs, and but actually, yeah, that's a, that's actually another conversation. Do we do we not like strong, confident women? Because Zlatan is celebrated for being arrogant. Yeah, but when has Zlatan ever ignored a fan's or three year old's approach? It's Megan's one. The fact that she maybe her arrogance may might be seen as disrespect or just too cocky, whereas Zlatan's might be seen as just confidence. That is a good. I mean, that is a good point. I mean, like sometimes, what I think what we've even seen from Meghan Markle's incidents is that people can be hated on even without even Meghan Rapino. Rapino? No, we're Rapino. I'm talking about the print. Uh, print. Uh, what's it? Oh, you actually talking about Meghan Markle? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, I'm wondering how we got there. Sorry, my bad. Yeah, because bad. let me explain my point. So, Meghan Markle, like the fact that people hated on her just because I I think a lot of people subconsciously hated her just because of the fact that she's black. And I feel like in the same sense, you could probably look at it in a similar way. Not because because of the fact that, yeah, people just subconsciously may, may be hating on Megan Rapinoe because she's a woman who's showing a case of dominance or arrogance or just that form of confidence. So, yeah, what do you think? No, I, I, I definitely think you have a point there. I think sometimes people hate what they don't necessarily don't know or don't consider as normal or mainstream so like you said about Meghan Markle so maybe the fact that there's a black princess in the royal family a lot of people may not like the idea of that so they'll, so they might not necessarily say oh I'm ra-. they might not necessarily be racist but subconsciously they don't like that's not what it's always been and so they don't like the idea of that and they may not necessarily even know that themselves it might just be something that they they don't know why they're acting like that but if they if they were to sit and have a think about oh, wait why do I actually not like Meghan Markle Oh, she's she seems like this. She seems like that. Oh, she does this. But Princess Diana was doing a lot of the things that Meghan Markle. I think the hate that she got was a madness because it's just like yeah, I didn't. She didn't even do anything. I and I could clearly, genuinely, could not understand where all this random ass hate was coming from. Like the way people going on about it was like she came out and just uh, just started blitzing the UK public about this and that, but she didn't. Like legit, I genuinely couldn't. Well, I I do understand. It's quite. It's right in the face to understand what's going on but it's just like I thought it was I thought it was just stupid you know I thought it was horrible I, just, I, didn't, I didn't understand it because people some of the comments that I was reading about her people acting like they knew her oh yeah she but then it's always like oh yeah she seems like this exactly she seems like it so you don't know her so you Bro, don't know what she's like the Eamon Holmes one was the worst one it was literally just put the nail oh, yeah, on the head yeah, do you yeah, remember yeah yeah, yeah. Um, where he said, what he "Oh, say? she, ah, oh, what's it? Something like um, that. I don't know her, but there's just something about her that you just don't like." Exactly. It was literally to and paraphrase that, like is, that. It's the same thing some pundits do to black footballers, and they don't realize it. So, for example, pace and power. I think Graham, no, Graham Sooners once was like, "Oh yeah, Moise Keane seems like a troublemaker, which is probably why Juventus sold him." He was basically speculating about. No, oh, brother, his no, 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 no. To be fair, to be fair, though. As much as I dislike Graham Sooners, he kind of wasn't wrong though in that case. And I don't no, think no, what, he might no, have had inside no, case. I don't no, know. No, what? no, no, because he made assumptions based on nothing. If he Did said he, it though? now, at that, at that point, he didn't have, you know, he basically said, oh, he doesn't know the reasons why, but he's guessing he's, there's probably a reason why Juventus sold him. He might be a troublemaker, blah, 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 blah. Right. So he was just assuming that he was. If he has said it now, I'd be like, okay, fair enough. Like, mate, he's got, okay, so the kid has had apparently had a, had a sex party um, oh, during what? lockdown. Did yeah, he? This was like last week. Moist yeah, King. Apparently, no, he did he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. This was like last week or the week before. Oh, my it was, it was in the, um, I see him in a different light. <laughs> same, same thing Carl Walker did. 
Really? Oh, yeah. Um, so this is the news, and apparently he's going to get disciplined by Everton. But so if if Graham Sooners have been like, okay, yeah. So based on what he's been doing recently, he seems like this. I problem. swear, my okay, guy's living with his mom now. Jeez, I, I, I highly doubt it. Well, <laughs> now, yeah, of course. <laughs> what the hell? So when I saw that, I was like, mm, because I feel like sometimes these assumptions that people have, oh, he must be a troublemaker because he's black or because of this, and sometimes it's like judge someone based on their actions. So if he said, okay, so what he's doing now makes him seem like he's a troublemaker, I'm like, fair enough. But if like you just met him straight away, you're like, oh yeah, he seems like a troublemaker. You don't know anything about him, you know? Uh, to be fair, I'm kind of I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that Moise Keane is acting that way. And Yeah, I'm disappointed the fact that he's proven Yeah, he's yeah, proven him right. right. I really yeah. hate it. I'm like, oh, come on, man. But back to what we were saying originally though. Like, I mean, uh, yeah, I yeah, think... So, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I I think there is a, a a bit of truth to that. Maybe people are just hating on Megan Rapinoe because she's displaying a form of confidence that probably a lot of men aren't used to. But then I am seeing comments on Twitter, for example, from women who are saying the same thing, as in like, they're just like, nope, we don't dig this person. So she's got a lot of PR work to do. <laughs> but I don't think she cares. No, I don't think she does. I think is she a baller? I haven't watched her play, to be honest. Yeah, she's a good. She's she's very good. Yeah, she's very good. Is she the and best? She's, she, uh, she's definitely one of the best players in the world. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure she won the Golden Boot at the World at the last World Cup. I think she did. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure she did. On FIFA, I'm pretty sure she has one of the highest ratings. Really? Yeah. Sweet. Alongside Alex Morgan, I think I think she's rated higher than Alex Morgan actually. She is. She is. She is. She is. Yeah, she's 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 very good. So yeah, she. I mean, she definitely walks the talk. So if people think she's arrogant, she, she does do bits. So if she was, if she wasn't doing. She wasn't that good a footballer, then it'd be like, okay, but you know, she is doing, she is, but she's a World Cup winner. I think it's maybe like maybe a double World Cup winner. As long as I don't really know what team she plays for um, at a domestic level, but I'm sure she's also, she also does well there. So big her up. But if she doesn't, if the women, the women's association, I don't even know what they like, if it's like the PFA or the whichever group she was representing, maybe they might want to consider someone who has a softer image in the, in the media. Sometimes you just sometimes you just have to you just have to play your strongest cards. But it's not the women's and football association. It's it's the American women's football team that are banding together for this campaign. Is she the captain? Rapper? No, I think I she is. Know. Well, then she, she, she's the one for the job. Then as simple as that. It makes sense why she's the, she's the, uh, if she's the um the captain, then it makes sense to why she's the one leading the charge. But I personally, like I said, and I re- reiterate, the American women's footballers are probably the best team in the world, and. They definitely, over, they definitely achieve a lot higher standards when it comes to football than than the than their male counterparts. So if they're not getting paid the same as them, that is, I personally think that's really that's fairly unfair. Fairly unfair. Highly unfair is what I'm trying to say. 